pitch when prepared and made plays when needed to make plays. And uh, my hats off to uh, Lance and uh, his staff and their football team. And uh, they're off to a good start. He's done a good job. Uh, you know, we got to stop uh, making mistakes and beat ourselves. Uh, every time we want to, we're close to getting something going, uh, there's something that stops us, whether it's a mental error, it's a penalty, um, you know, something foolish that uh, stops our football team. And uh, we, we've got to get that fixed somehow, some way. Um, I love our guys. I really, really uh, appreciate how they came out in the second half after a uh, poor first half. They came out, uh, played hard, fought. Um, felt like we had opportunities, you know, when uh, we were down 35-13, got down, you know, in the red zone. And if we score there, you never know what happens. There's still plenty of time to go in a game, and uh, didn't work out. Uh, didn't make the plays that we needed to, and um, uh, you know, the rest is, uh, you know, what it is there. The rest of the game. So with that, I'll go ahead and just open up for questions. Chris, where do you go as a program? Just to keep working, and that, that's it. You know, uh, the process is, is can be a painful one. Can be a, uh, you know, one that's not a lot of fun. It's not where any of us wanted to be uh, at this moment. Um, it it uh, is where we're at, and uh, we just got to keep going uh, back to work. We got a lot of young players that have been playing out there. We got to get them better. You know, I've been uh, saying that every week, but that's uh, what we've got to do. And uh, starts again with you know, myself. I, I got to find a better way to coach. Got to find a way, a better way to lead the team and um, lead the staff and get our preparation to show up on game day. Because uh, we got the penalties that we had, the mental errors that we had. Um, just uh, we can't do it in games. What went to the decision to change quarterbacks? Uh, I just needed something different. You know, it, uh, Art didn't necessarily do anything uh, wrong in the game. We just uh, were sputtering, and uh, there wasn't much happening on offense, and just felt like uh, we needed something different and uh, give a, a, a senior, a senior captain, an opportunity to go see if he could spark the offense. Have so, you had some success in the second half? Will you stick with him next week? Uh, that's uh, to be determined. Uh, we, again, we'll have to go back and watch tape and look at uh, you know what we can do. Um, you know, Art's. Uh, Done a, done a lot of really good things, um, but the people around him also have to do a really good things, and uh, we'll evaluate uh, that position and uh, what we're doing uh, around him uh, again, and make the decision on what we think is the best interest of the football team. But uh, you know, again, Art uh, um, did some good things, made some mistakes, but uh, you know, everybody else did too. Chris, what's your message to a fan base that might be giving up hope? I understand the frustration. Uh, I've been in this long enough. Uh, understand the frustration. Um, again, I, I feel really good about our future uh, with our, our team. We got a lot of young players, and uh, by no means, it, you know, is that a, a um, disrespect to our older players? We got a bunch of really good older players too, senior senior captains that they absolutely love and uh, have fought their tails off for this program, this university. Um, we'll keep working and uh, do everything we can to keep getting better. What's your message to the team after this loss? Uh, you know, it, same thing. You know, it, uh, it's not where we want to be. It's where we're at, and we just got to keep working. Um, again, there, there's no magic formula, guys. I mean, you just got to keep working. Got to keep practice. Got to somehow do it better. Um, and uh, again, it's a process, and uh, it's a painful one right now. You know, and, uh, nobody wanted to be here at this spot, and we are. So we got to deal with it. We'll take two more questions. Your team was very good defensively last year. Are you disappointed in the number of big plays the defense has given up? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we can't give up the big explosive plays that uh, uh, we, we have, especially in the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, we, we've uh, we got good players. Uh, I think we got a good plan, good system. Uh, again, just like you know, I talk about on offense, you know, mental uh, errors and mistakes um, and penalties uh, kill you, and uh, that's what's happened on defense at times. And uh, we, we got to find a way to coach it better. And we got to find a way to get our preparation uh, carried over to game day. Um, and you just can't give up explosive plays on defense and expect to win football games. You uh, said that you like the preparation going into these games. Yeah. Last couple of weeks. Are there things that you need to do differently um, on game day and take more ownership of the offense? What, what can you do differently on a game day? Yeah, well, I, I can tell you I'm not going to start calling plays. You know, that, that's not uh, my strength. That's not uh, what I've ever done in my career. Um, and that, that would be a mistake. I've got nothing but 100% uh, trust and faith in John. Uh, John's a, uh, a coach that has uh, coached a lot of football at the highest level. Uh, knows how to uh, structure an offense. It knows how to develop players. Knows how to uh, call plays. And uh, there's zero uh, good that would come out of me trying to uh, call offensive plays or get in, involved in that. How about defensive plays? Uh, you know, I, I'll evaluate you know, where we're at defensively. Uh, that is uh, my background. And, um, again, I'll, I'll evaluate what uh, we need to do to try to get better. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you, guys.